Hey guys, this is your Tusser Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about my preliminary winter 2020 to 2021 forecast. This is the first edition. There will be more as we get closer to winter, obviously. It's not even fall yet, um, so I won't make an update for quite a while, but these are just my thoughts right now, and I want to bring this up ahead of time. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. And hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. This is the temperature outlook for winter 2020-2021. You see various colors. I'll start at the bottom of the screen. That light orange you see there going from California to the panhandle of Florida is slightly above average temperatures where you could see a degree or two above average. And that darker shade of orange in southern New Mexico and southern Arizona is above average temperatures where you could see a couple to a few degrees above average in terms of temperature. That light aqua color going from North Carolina uh, into Idaho, Wyoming, Missouri, that aqua color you see there is slightly below average temperatures where you could see a degree or two below average this winter. And that cyan color you see going from uh, the northwest straight over to the northeast is below average where you could see a couple to a few degrees below average. And that dark blue, the third shade, which is the highest I go in my forecast in the Great Lakes regions and the northern plains, uh, north central United States, is significantly below average temperatures where there could be many degrees below average, like 5 to 10, maybe slightly more below average this winter. So there will be some pretty frigid temperatures in the Great Lakes region this winter. As of right now, could definitely change. I'll update you later. Um, but this is what's currently forecasted right now, and it's moderately concerning. Moving on to precipitation. This is the precipitation forecast for winter 2020-2021. That light brown you see in the southwest is slightly below average precipitation, where you could see an inch or two below average in terms of precipitation this winter. And that light green going from northwest straight over to the northeast again is slightly above average precipitation, where you could see, again, a degree or two above average. And that darker shade you see in three different portions, the northwest, the Great Lakes, and the northeast, in those three different regions there, are above average precipitation, where you could see a couple to a few inches above average in terms of precipitation. Um, that does not just include snowfall, it also includes rainfall. I would add a third shade, the darkest shade I can go to for significantly above average precipitation, particularly for the upper peninsula of Michigan and the coast, the Lake Michigan coast of Michigan. Um, however, um, there is quite a bit of uncertainty on that and I will probably include that shade in future outlooks when we actually get close to winter. That's your trusted weather forecast for 2020 to 2021 winter weather forecast. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.